it's a lot when you have to cart it in. Look at this. Yeah. Today's gonna be a good haul. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Boogie Snacks. You guys already know the drill. If you guys like hauls, anime, or manga, hit that subscribe button so you guys know when I'm uploading next. I've been waiting forever to show you guys this haul. There's another box set in here and a manga that I've been waiting over two years to get is finally released in physical format and I can finally open it and show you guys and talk about it. So without further ado, this is a giant haul. It seemingly just happened. I know. And this one's an interesting one. We're gonna kick this off. This series is not gonna be for everyone. It's funny that we're starting things off with this one, uh, but this is a an adult romance series from my understanding. I've actually don't know too much about this. It was recommended by a friend of mine and I picked it up on stream. It does have the parental advisory sticker there. Uh, hopefully that you can see that. Uh, and I don't know how to pronounce the name. Maybe it's Kowloon. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And if I'm wrong, let me know down below in the comment section. I do apologize if I am pronouncing it wrong. But from my understanding, this is done by the same mom as After the Rain. And to be honest, it has a dystopian vibe to it. The first one we're gonna talk about is Arakawa Under the Bridge. Our main character has basically had financial stability his entire life and through a series of events, he finds himself owing a favor to someone who is more or less homeless. Our main character very, very much doesn't like owing anyone anything and that's how he was raised. So what happens when this person who he finds himself owing a favor to won't take the surplus of money or housing? What happens then? This mysterious woman who won't take our main character's money, won't take housing, won't take any of these expenses that he's willing to pay for. What happens when she wants him to teach her about love? Okay, next, I've been waiting for this manga forever. The second I found out about this manga, it didn't have an official English translation, let alone a physical release, and the anime was very difficult to track down. I get an announcement that Seven Seas is releasing this manga in English, physical format, omnibus editions. I was over the moon. The manga that I'm talking about, the original name that I found this manga under was Yokohama Shopping Log, but the actual name is Yokohama Kaidashi Kiku. Hopefully I'm saying that right. If I'm wrong, you guys will let me know. You always let me know down below the comment section. I apologize. I'm trying here. Basically, this main character is an Android working at a cafe where obviously there's virtually no foot traffic, sort of witnessing and observing life as humanity is going through its twilight years where things are about to end. The curtain is about to close. The end is inevitable and it's coming very soon. This is going to be a very heavy, melancholy slice of life that is definitely going to give you some perspective. And for me personally, this is going to be the kind of anime or manga that you are definitely gonna wanna text your loved ones after. It's gonna make you think of people that were in your life. And I think that's a hallmark of good storytelling. Where is it? Oh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, I got a box. Okay, this is actually very sweet. I was wondering, I was like, I didn't order this box. This is so weird. What manga is in there? Uh, this is actually sent to me by Udon Entertainment and they they were so kind. Thank you to the fine team over at Udon. Thank you so much. You guys are, you guys are so sweet. But they actually sent me volumes four to six of Summertime Rendering. These look absolutely phenomenal. I'm happy to continue reading this series. <sighs> Okay, okay, every once in a while, you guys give me a recommendation that takes me forever to check out. And when I finally do, I always end up saying, you were right, and you know what, you guys were right again. But yeah, I did pick up another two volumes of Apothecary Diaries. Volume four, volume five. But Apothecary Diaries, I highly recommend, especially if you're looking for a romance mystery. Ugh, you guys, I'm addicted to reading Berserk right now. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Okay, I'm not even sorry, all right? I'm addicted to reading Berserk right now. Now, at the time of recording this video, I am finishing volume five. I've probably already talked about reading more on social media, so if you aren't following me on Twitter, that's where I'm letting you guys know my thoughts and feelings on this stuff. Volume 10, 16, and 17, 22, 25, and 30. <sighs> Okay, in that bag, there was nothing crazy. There's just another volume of 34 of Berserk. Okay, on to the next one. What the heck is that? 
Okay, this is actually kind of exciting. This is the first physical version of a webtoon I've ever picked up and it's called Let's Play. And from my understanding, we have our main character here who basically, she's a female lead protagonist who makes video games and what happens when a popular streamer basically gives her video game like a kind of a bad review, but then also ends up being the love interest like the cute guy that moves next door. Yeah, okay, sign me up. I found these in an actual store location over at a book off here in Los Angeles. So the first series that I picked up was Dot Hack, all three volumes of the Tokyo Pop editions. These are, these are kind of old. These are, this is probably older than a few of you that are watching this video right now. The really cool thing about Dot Hack is that it's definitely a piece of like manga community history right here. I mean, already from like the little badge that it has stating that, okay, this is like the number one manga in America to just the sheer popularity that Dot hack had and also what it was and what it represents and what it would influence coming out in the future because dot hack was sort of like leading the front here leading the charge into what would become the isekai genre of being transported into a video game or a digital world now the next one i picked up really does mean a lot and it was my first single volume of shaman king pure nostalgia this just feels so good in fact the entire haul that i picked up from book off is just pure nostalgia and I picked up a lot of nostalgia with this next one. And that would be a ton of volumes of Hikaru no Go. Does anyone remember this series? But just really quickly, it follows a main character who is in middle school and then gets older throughout the series who falls in love with playing the board game Go. So I picked up volume two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, and 21. Yeah, I definitely picked up quite a few volumes of Hikaru no Go, and I highly recommend this series. Okay, where is it? All right, it's it's right over here. Now, this package was sent to me by someone in the community to my P.O. box, and if you guys aren't aware, yes, I do have a P.O. box. You should be seeing it on screen right down below here, but it's also in the description of every single one of my videos. Thank you to everyone that sends packages to the P.O. box, and if you send me something in the future, please make sure to include a note so that I can thank you properly and read it on the video. Hey Boogie, I wanted to send you some manga volumes you were missing since you've been enjoying the series recently. I'm also glad that you liked the initial D manga I sent, Trinity. Oh my God, I can't. Trinity, I can't. Oh, you did not just send me this. You did not just send me this. I am going to freak out right now. Volume one of Gintama, volume two, volume 11, volume 12, and volume 22. Trinity, thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Please reach out to me and thank you for the adorable note and, and Gintama, it really means a lot. <laughs> Why is this so complicated to open? Now, for those of us that have been watching my videos for a while, you would know that I'm in this genre sort of binge of like dystopian mystery sci-fi series and nothing screams that genre more than Blam, Nihei. Nihei is such a wonderfully creative mangaka. Okay, it's time. We have yet another box set. So while I'm opening this, okay, so we're gonna do this gently. I don't wanna actually cut the box set. A bleach, look at this. I got the third box set of bleach. I am so freaking happy. I am so freaking happy. Let's open this. Let me just get a knife and unwrap it really quickly. And then I will give you guys my first impressions. I have been wanting to open this since it basically got to my house. Are you kidding me right now? Look at the color scheme. Ooh, I wish the second box set was in stock. I would pick it up so quickly. This looks absolutely amazing. So this is obviously from volumes 49 to 74. And it looks like it comes with like, like the basic Viz box set setup. It comes with a double-sided poster and, and a little pamphlet. This feels like a really good manga haul. I am, I am so grateful from someone sending me Gintama from my community to Udon sending me a uh, summertime rendering to getting the third bleach box set, Hikaru no Go. I mean, this is just filled with so many wonderful releases. Uh, and then there's YKK. I never thought that I would own this. I never thought it would get like released physically, I, let alone like these beautiful omnibus editions. So thank you Seven Seas for that. This is just, this feels like a good way to like end summer with this huge haul going into like the rest of 2022. I have so much reading ahead of me.
this is absolutely incredible. All right, everyone, I have a bunch of manga to read. This is, oh, I'm actually so happy. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good night, okay, bye.